Welcome back to another day here on the Lorcana Pixelborn Client. Today we're going to be playing an Amber and Sapphire Seaside Singers. It's a lot of characters singing a lot of songs looking for a lot of ramp. Just give you the, the short and skinny of it. Pluto, Grandma Tala. Both can shift into Big Pluto and into Big Grandma Tala. Big Grandma Tala is huge for this deck. We really, really, really want to see Big Grandma Tala if we can. Mama Odie is also an interesting card here. Now, I played Mama Odie before. Did not like her. Uh, this list is kind of loosely based on something I saw online recently. Mama Odie was a part of it, along with Friend Like Me, another card that I actively despise. I don't like Friend Like Me and I don't like Mama Odie, but they were in the original list. I have tweaked it quite a bit, uh, but I decided to keep them in because it was, it seemed like it was a part of the core. The whole thing was Grandma Tala magic, right? Friend Like Me is great with Grandma Tala in play. Mama Odie is fantastic with Grandma Tala in play, but it all relies on Grandma Tala being in play, which can be a pretty big issue when you're seeing all the other cards and you don't see a Grandma Tala. So keep that in mind. You really do want to find a Grandma Tala. Very critical. And you'll see just how much we struggle to do so today. <laughs> we are also playing 19 songs. The songs, of course, go really well with the Mama Odie. Uh, Ariel can sing it. Rapunzel can sing some stuff. Belle's really great at ramp, but also can sing. Gaston searches out stuff he can sing. Like, all this stuff can sing, which is really great. It's Pluto. Little Pluto can't do much. He hardly ever comes down turn one anyway because of all the steel removal out there. Grandma Tolly here, the little one, can sing our one jump aheads and our bare necessities. Both can be really strong early in the game, either ramping into bigger plays really quickly or taking the removal out of our opponent's hands. Also very big. We're also running some lucky dimes, just two of, because there are a lot of two questers in the deck, plus Gaston with his three, and late game, by the time that lucky dime comes down and starts working, Bell could potentially be a five quester. So that's really good with Lucky Dime. Now, I did miss a few videos these last couple of days. Just for reference, because I know some of you guys care, some of you guys don't. The ones who don't are already skipping ahead to the games. It was Sunday. Sunday, I make the video for Monday. And so, of course, you didn't see a video on Monday because Sunday was the last day of spring break. So I spent the day playing Minecraft with my son. We killed the Ender Dragon for the first time. Well, his first time. Probably my millionth time killing the Ender Dragon, but it was fun to watch. Do not put it in your head. He's like five and nine months. He's almost six. And just watching him run into the end island like a chicken with his head cut off, running around, screaming, seeing the dragon freaking out. Best thing ever. I would miss many more days of making videos to see that again. Uh, and then, of course, we missed yesterday. I am working on a series of videos right now, and I spent a good portion of my day working on that particular video yesterday, but it's a big video, so didn't get it done in time. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to be working on it again all day today. So hopefully I'll have it out for you tomorrow, maybe. We will see. And then, of course, uh, my collection is coming along. I am missing 65 cards from all of Lorcana. I'm looking to get four copies of every card, and I'm only missing 65 cards. That is 2.6% of cards missing. There's a link in the description down below for what my missing cards are. If you feel so inclined to help me out, I am missing. Uh, there's five cards in particular I'm looking for before the challenger events, before the set championship. We will see if I can get those cards. If I can't get those cards, uh, I will not be able to build the deck I want to build. Uh, yep. Yeah, link in the description down below. Thanks for listening to me rant. Let's jump into the games and just see how strong this deck is? Hmm, Emerald and Steel, you say? Going first. Hey, a Pluto. That's not bad. Can I get big Pluto, please? Oh, I like the hand except for the bells. I like that the bells are inkable, though. <laughs> okay, a lot of ramp. Two Plutos. I don't want two Plutos. All right, well, I have to keep a bare necessities. I have to because of swords. And I got a lot of pretty weak characters in the deck. Man, I really wish I could ink this. Well, this isn't good. <laughs> All right, I guess I have to go find a different bare necessities with Ariel. All 
All right, there's no point in using Pluto's ability to get a Pluto down to just lose the first Pluto. I'm making no progress. Effectively, I'm trading a card out of my hand to stop them from gaining one lore. And I don't think that's worth it. All right, Let It Go's pretty good, and Ariel can sing that. Let's see if I can grab something I can ink. Yeah, I can ink that. Again, same position with the Pluto here. I would really like to find a big Pluto. Uh, maybe I should have played my Pluto anyway. I should have played it so I could guest on. Zeus takes out Ariel, because it should. Hmm, I could Gaston here? I think I do Gaston, but then I lose my little Pluto. Let's get rid of Robin Hood. It lets him ramp. Alright, so I am going to do this. Mr. Smee quest for two, so if Mr. Smee wants to attack Pluto instead, he'll still get the one damage from there being no pirate currently, or no captain. But I'll stop him from get going up to five lore. We'll see how good that works out. Alright, it worked. You know, I really don't need a friend like me here. Ooh, there's the bare necessities that I need, but also Pluto. Need to take down this beast. This beastie boy. Oh, they're prepping for some discard, but I'm not going to give it to them. I'd have to throw everything at Pluto here. Take him down. Alright, nothing in my hand to make me discard. <laughs> yep, time to get rid of all your foolish stuff. Like, all, like these guys are totally meaningless now. They should be questing. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. They still have to throw something else at it. They gotta throw a Beastie Boy at it? Alright, Beastie Boy's dead. I like it. Let's start with an aerial and see where we're at. Whiff, 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 whiff. I could have quested, I suppose. What's in their colors that moves damage? I don't know. I probably should have quested, honestly, and made the beast attack. Hypnotize. Of course you have a Zeus. Man, if you play against Steel or Ruby, you're pretty much destined to lose with a deck like this. Grandma Tala's pretty worthless here as well. But, there's a lot of ramp in the deck, provided our opponent can't pick her off, and the 8 willpower is actually pretty huge here. We might just be able to ink our way to victory. Well, we start with a stitch. Inkatala, that gains us a lore. Play a flute. 
trade out Prince John. That way the Tinkerbell can't do damage to stuff. Quest for two, but I can sit on it. I didn't sing a song, but you're allowed to still tap it, apparently. <laughs> Robin of the Hood. Alright, I need something pretty tasty off the top. Hmm. Could be worth it. We will see. Alright, getting interesting. But these two are enough to take down Grandma Tala, and I would have to leave. I would have to take out the undamaged one here. That way, Grandma Tala is at least taking out the Tinkerbell as well. I think I just wait. They're on plus seven, aren't they? So I do have to take a thing out. I do need to take a thing out. Which one's worse? Robin Hood? They both quest for two, but this one can attack and do the two. Also has a higher toughness. Let's get rid of the Robin Hood. I think I can deal with these Tinks. Can't simply quest with them, unless of course they play enough stuff down to just quest for victory the following turn. Looks like they're going to go for it. Alright, basically just got to attack their board into oblivion, which I think I can do. Can you play another character? That's what would really seal the deal for you. Bare necessities. I will play it. It's a Tinkerbell. But that allows me to do this. I only have six here, so I do need to actually take out stuff. Unfortunately, the Jafar now gets to take out the Grandma Tala. Which lets them draw a card. But I think they're just going to quest. I'd have to get a song off the top. No, it, it's worse than X, Rapunzel dies. That song would have to be removal. Have to be one of my let it goes. Or a friend like me. I think they're well, they are gonna quest. They're just gonna they're just gonna go for it. Okay. Having a couple outs is paying off. Uh, I will pay for you. Get rid of Tinkerbell. Get rid of you that way. Not sure I deserve to have gotten this far in this particular game, but... One song off the top will do it. Unless the opponent can find a way to... Snag up one lore right here. It's not over. I still need a song. They're gonna scoop it anyway. I still think opponent had a good chance of winning that. Not a mirror match. But a mirror match? Ah, I was second. Always second! Alright, well I gotta definitely keep these bare necessities, I think, right? Right? Send you back, send you back. Send you back. Uh, iffy on the how far I'll go. Ariel can sing it. I definitely don't need two of them. I should have sent it back. I don't need three bare necessities. <laughs> Alright. Well, going second hurts. This is... <laughs> Just because all of the cards in the deck are good, putting them in a pile doesn't mean the deck is good. 
Laversham. Are we gonna see a poop sickle? No poop sickle from the opponent. A non-threatening Cinderella though. I guess it's gonna sing a bare necessities on me and take this uh let it go away. It's funny, Cinderella is like a threatening card, but only in a steel deck. Otherwise, it's really not much of anything. Uh, hmm. Well, they didn't do the thing. So I'm gonna do the thing. Ah, let's keep Rapunzel. So many uninkables. Uh, well, I don't need to worry about that pretty much at all for the entirety of the game. It does ma pair with Maximus. But that means they have to use their support on my character. To get rid of the fishbone. I mean, I think always you take fishbone almost in any situation. No matter what else is in their hand, you take fishbone. Especially going into their turn three. But, I was just pointing out how world's greatest criminal mind could work against us. Considering none of our characters are big enough for it to work on its own. That Maximus in their hand actually does the trick. Literally, our highest attack power in the deck is four. All right, opponent. What are you thinking? You gonna ink that Maximus for? Oh, there goes the world's greatest criminal mind. Good. Okay, not that it was a big problem. It just happens to pair well with, uh, with Maximus. Here we go. Long turn from the opponent. All right, I can either develop an aerial or I can ramp. But aerial gets to ramp on the following turn. So it's not like I'm going to have, I'm going to miss out on the ramp. Uh, the let it go could still be good. Especially because Ariel can sing it. All right, well, I got ink. <laughs> All right, one of the let it goes is on the bottom of the deck. So we basically only have one more in the deck. All right, is it time to see that Maximus? What are you thinking, opponent? There goes a bell. Maybe I should be holding on to these let it goes. Which is really unfortunate because I really do need ink. And that is ink. I think I just cast you, right? Oh, well, I got all the let it goes. There's literally only one more in the deck, and it's, in, it's like the second from the bottom. <laughs> Alright, I think we're singing this. Right, because we're not scared of Cinderella. Maximus' support ability doesn't work straight away. It has to quest. They haven't inked Maximus yet, so I know that this card right here is their Maximus. And there it is. Now they feel safe in questing, which is fantastic. So now I get to take out Maximus. And the Cinderella. I will skip the ink. All right, little Cinderella, not a problem. Not scared of you. Their own let it go. Hey, thanks for letting me ink, opponent. I do appreciate it. Um, hmm. Well, I definitely want you down. I think we're gonna play you. Ooh, both are really good, but I think Bell's about to be better. Hmm. <laughs> Naturally, I want to keep all of them, but I want to ink so I can play this as well, so Bell gets a little further along. There's just no win in here. Two players playing the same colors, both struggling to make the colors work. That should tell you a little something about how good this color combination is. <laughs> Part of your world, that brings something back from their graveyard, but all they got is a Cinderella because we've been sending everything to their ink pool.
Happily shift you out. Take you out. We're probably going to see another let it go. But if we do see a let it go, I'll be at 10 ink. So Bell will be primed and ready to go. Because Pluto counts for two here since he shifted. All right. Is that what you're thinking about? Simba bodyguard. Didn't play it in bodyguard position though. We'll start with our very own Ariel. Uh, hmm. Don't want to rent my opponent. This is really only good if you have a Grandma Tala in play. Definitely going to quest here. Ink Grandma Tala. I should get Bell down. I want to play how far I'll go, but I can do that next turn. And guarantee Bell will be able to quest for five. And with a bodyguard Pluto in play, Bell will be tough to get at. Are you going to pop that flute? I love it. <laughs> Hopefully you drew what you needed, opponent. No. I mean, you're out of ink, though, so they're not questing. They're not doing anything this turn. They give us the well played. Come on. Let's play it at least. Let's see if I get the actual scoop or if we just get the well played. Well, my turn is still showing up. Another bell. Wow. Mm, I'll take you because you're ink, but that's purely it. <laughs> Another well played from the opponent. Let's see if it, they actually scoop it. Let's play it anyway. Again, its value is only in the big grandma Tala, so this is largely pointless. It's just fun. All right, if they manage to tear through Pluto, I still have just enough to be lethal. And for reference, you don't play friend like me right there. I'm just playing it for funsies. I did give my opponent a potential opening with the amount of ink here to make a recovery. Be our guest. Looking for something. Be our guests won't get them any removal. Can't think of any removal on a body in these colors. They're gonna sing it though. Maximize their chances of being able to play a character here. Like a surfer stitch. Snagged a Cinderella. You know that's not what they wanted. Wow. I commend you, opponent, for playing it out this far though. Well, the, the second they said well played, I I would I would have sworn we were about to see the concession. Seven ink, four cards in hand. Show me what you got. Yes, no, maybe so. And the concession. There it is. Well played, opponent. We're both playing the jankiest of decks. <laughs> Sapphire Steel. <laughs> Steel is my bane today. Every deck is playing it. My goodness. Okay, I got a little Pluto and a big Tala. Uh, let's get rid of everything. Let's go Pluto. All right, I got a big Pluto. I see him. And a lucky dime. I knew you were in the deck somewhere, buddy. I knew it. And I got look Tala's. Wow. All right, well, let's let them blow up Pluto. Because <laughs> we know that's what they want to do. Or they'll do nothing. I've been waiting about a minute now. There we go. Opponent's finally doing something. I knew it. I knew they couldn't resist taking out Pluto. <laughs> Opponent is positively predictable. Well, uh, how about my Grandma Tala then? Hmm? 
They don't like taking out Grandma Tala. They don't like the ramp. That's funny because you you know that's what that that's why it took him a minute. Because they're like, I really want a popsicle. That's actually hilarious. Alright, well now I just need to find a song. <laughs> Whoa, Maui in the deck. Interesting inclusion. It's a big body. Yes, please. Thank you for showing me my hand. I, I do appreciate it. <laughs> Without that pop-up, I never would have known what was in my hand. Oh, not another bell. Well, they don't know about this one, so... I'm gonna go ahead and play it anyway. I know I have the additional ink, but I'd rather play Grandma Tala. Alright, well, so far I've had games where I've had so many songs and no characters, and now I'm experiencing the game where I have the characters and I have no songs. Gross, man! Alright, well, I guess I'm just... <laughs> I mean, I'm destined for something great to happen when I finally do get a song, but... We'll see if any of these guys survive to the time I get a song. 19 in the deck. It's a 1 in 3 chance. Better than that, I'm pretty sure, because I haven't played any songs. Sheesh. What is happening? I can't even- I'm not getting ink! <laughs> I'm not getting songs! <laughs> I'm just getting stuck on uninkable characters. Today is not my day to play. I'm excited to wrap up this video. <laughs> Hey, look, we have the Christmas tree. Huh. Well, that is a thing. I have to pay for it, though, because I'm not going to risk Bell. Uh, I'll take the one jump ahead. Yes, I'll do both of these. I will sing you. With an Odie. Yes, I will activate both of these. And then all of a sudden, our ink problems are all gone. <laughs> and I'll let Bell be the target from this point forward. I know I have a dime. I know I have a dime. But I think with two Mama Odies and being able to shift the Grandma Tala. That should be pretty solid to close this game. Opponent's still playing Steel though, we just haven't seen any of it. Alright, they're gonna get rid of the Sleepy's Flute, that's fine. And we get to keep Bell, so that's, that's just victory. I don't even have to do anything else, but I'll show him the Lucky Dime. I'll show him the dime. It's fine. It's fine. Amethyst and Ruby. Okay. That's how I like to start my games. Oh, and I'm going second too. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Bear Necessities isn't a bad card to have by any means right here. But... Kind of don't like anything else. And of course, I got to keep my ramp. The tricky thing with this deck, 23. Three uninkables, I believe it is. Oh, it's gonna hurt. 23 uninkables. So our ramp is super important. That's what keeps us in the game. Alright, let's see if I can't get us some Mama Odie set up with some of these one jumps. Ooh, 
Ooh, it's not looking good, is it? I know there's 23, but my goodness, I should have mulliganed for that. I should have mulliganed a little harder for the 23. All right, bounce it for a snake. Go on. What do you think? This is my first day? Ha! All right, we're going to keep a bare necessities. There we go. We'll be set up for a Mama Odie. This is a lot of ramp if I can get both Mama Odies down. Whenever you play a song, so I don't have to sing a song with Mama Odie. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna get double ramp next turn. More than that, I'll have uh, I'll be able to play how far I'll go, and I'll sing one jump ahead. Let's see if Mama Odie survives. It's not a very common card, so I, you know, if it's highlighting, the opponent's probably reading it because they have no idea what it does, because who the heck plays Mama Odie? Now, I could be greedy and try to play another Mama Odie, but I think getting four ink ahead right here will be huge. The thing is, is I don't really have anything to fill my hand, so the how far all goes are going to be really important. All right, so they are going to go for taking out Mama Odie. Oh, well. That's why I bring two of them. Oh, well. I could have been at nine this turn, but they had to attack the Mama Odie. Yeah, I have two of them. <laughs> Why not? You gonna exert it too? You gonna play all your Pinocchios on just Mama Odies? All right, opponent, what are we thinking? I had a very unfortunate opening in here. Let's see if I can make anything come of it. They're gonna go for it again. They really don't like Mama Odie's. All it is is a minor ramp. I mean, are they really that fearful of it? I guess so. It's not like I'm running removal in these colors. Uh, yeah, let's get an aerial. Use the flute. Haha! -ha, I can't possibly lose now. I have a flute in play. Everyone seems to think this is the most powerful card in the game. Uh oh. Queen's Castle. We just lost. <laughs> Dang it. I knew I should have popped off this bare necessity sooner. Let's go for an aerial. That's a good card. Hmm. Can't do it all, can I? No, I cannot. Let's try to take something from your hand. Nothing? Okay. Alright, we're in trouble. That Queen's Castle is, uh... Lethal. If this was just a normal, non-recorded game, I would honestly concede right here. So, if you're watching the video to try to better yourself as a player, first of all, this isn't the video for that. <laughs> not in these colors. These colors are not competitive, so it's not a great one to learn from. But, uh, I tend to not concede games for the video. So, if you're trying to learn, this game would be over already. Normally, I like to say play to your outs, but this deck doesn't have outs for this. Like, I managed to get very few of my characters. Like, I've seen four characters, two of them were Mama Odie's this whole game. Like, what is up with that? Still haven't really seen any of my characters. Like, eesh. Well, can I afford to sing? They have plus 
seven here. Can't stop two of it. I can only get rid of two characters. I can only bring them to plus five. And that's if I'm attacking. No, right, well, we're gonna eat that. We're gonna see what there is to see. And there's nothing to see. Can't afford to play it all anyway, can I? No. Let's get rid of you. And it's just enough for our opponent to survive. Or not to survive. For us, for us to die. It's just enough for our opponent to defeat us. Could have got a lore off that, but I didn't need it. Because we're about to be dead. Oh, you don't have to play Medusa now. Come on, that's just bad manners. To be fair, a lot of this was my fault. The mulligan was very greedy. I was way too greedy in the mulligan. Steel Amethyst. Here we go. Going second. Oh, it's going to be a second day, isn't it? Uh-oh. I think it's going to be a second day. Uh, I don't need two Mama Odies. I certainly don't need these friends like me. This list is loosely based off of a list I saw online. I'm sure the friends are fine when you have a big Grandma Tala, but like right here, they just feel awful. Man, you gotta be careful with this mulligan, don't ya? You just pick up all these uninkables. 23 uninkables in the deck. The way it gets around it is it ramps. So, you know. Being on Inkable is not an issue when you have a hundred ink. That's the thought. That's the thought process. Ooh, a Jafar deck! So much fun! These bare necessities are going to be a real pain in your butt. <laughs> Let's see, I have no turn one plays. The only turn one play in the deck is Pluto, and I do not have a Pluto. Okay. Jafar. Robin of the Hood. Hmm. Sorry, Stitchy Boy. It's a little too early. It's a hair's breadth too early for you. I have not yet begun to ramp. Alright. I'm seeing a line of play here. It involves getting a Mama Odie down. Robin of the Hood. Bonus opponent is pulling ahead though, which is a little obnoxious. Oh, sorry, Rapunzel. Pass. Alright, let's do some quick maths here. I could ink the bare necessities. I don't want to. Or I could ink Ariel, play Mama Odie. Cast the bare necessities. Can't sing this, so I can sing the bare necessities. Can't cast this. So I'm not gaining any real advantage here. You gonna rock a smash? Strength of a raging fire, man. These Mama Odies just don't survive, do they? It's really not that scary of a card. <laughs> Well, that's why I was made with two of them. Ooh, I gotta keep that for sure. Sorry, Ariel. <laughs> gotta get the whole new world out of my opponent's hand. Oh, they don't have one. Hilarious. Get the free ramp off the Mama Odie. I need to get the Sleepy's Flute down. Oh, Blue Fairy. Sad beast. All right. Well, I guess that's the let it go target. I'd rather use it on their Jafar. Ooh, not good. Not good at all. Um. Hmm. Well, I think we've lost this game. I think we've lost this game because I have to play this. And I can't do anything else. And I think that alone by itself is pretty much game. Because I can't take out their characters 
either. Ooh. Whose idea was it for me to play a Sapphire Amber deck? Because it's not good. It's a bad color combination. Well. <laughs> Okay, that one's okay. Not that I can play it. Alright, well, we are in trouble for sure. I can't attack the Robin Hood, little Robin Hood, because big Robin Hood cleans up Mama Odie and still gets its lore. I'm just doing one damage to both the Robin Hoods for basically nothing. Big Jafar needs to be defeated. Nah, it's game. That is game. There's no way I'm taking out their board. <laughs> Not before they quest with this rabbit for victory. Oh man. Amber Steel. The steel's gonna be an issue. I can see it now. Oh, come on. I got two of my shift guys, but none of my little guys. Let's try something funny this game, huh? Let's try to get the shifts. Okay, Pluto. Pluto's lining up. Alright, gotta be careful. Playing Pluto too early could just mean that it gets zapped. And it is my only one. It needs to come down on turn four. So I'll play it the same turn as I play Madame Odi. So I don't think I'm gonna unless I get ramp right away, I'm probably not gonna play Madame on turn three either. Benjagon, that's great news for my flute. Of course, they could be playing straight towards a a setup for a Benja. Cause they could be playing straight for a uh, a whole new world. There's the Benja. That's what we were playing for. Ooh, double Plutos, huh? So I can commit one to the board. Gotta be careful, opponents will turn ahead of me. So if I play these on four, opponent goes into five, and then hits us. So I think I actually need to play the Plutos now, because of swords. Of course, nothing's stopping them from shifting the Queen or a Robin Hood, to, and then just doing swords. But assuming they don't have shifts and they still got swords, turn five is still a sketchy turn. If they have swords here, I think we just lose. Okay, no swords. Alright, well they can sing that, right? Yeah, Benja can sing it. Take out one Pluto. Yes, be fearful of the Plutos! Alright, well let's see if this is good enough. See how much attacking they do here, or how many Zeus's they play out of hand. Ariel sings one, they cast another. Here's a Robin Hood. Yeah, of course they have it. Freaking Zeus. Wow, 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 wow. Man! It's gonna be a short video today, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just absolutely punishing myself here. Mmm, not good either. Wow, this hand sucks. 
Yeah, I'm done with this game. Sorry, guys. I don't like to concede, but that's not a fun game. <laughs> Amber Steel. This is... The steel is our bane, for sure. Okay, I got Pluto's. Pluto doesn't survive. Bare Necessities may get him there, though. Bare Necessities into a Pluto. So I play Pluto on three, so I can ink up to four, use Pluto's ability to get big Pluto. Alright, everything else is fine, because it's going to be ink. So if I can play Pluto on three, I can also play Pluto and Bare Necessities both on three. So Grandma Tala can come down on two. I hope I don't have to ink and let it go, but I will not be opposed to it. Very easy friend like me gone. Fast turn. Queen. So what, no little queen? Or you have two big queens? Looks like no little queen. Hmm. Two big queens it is then. Awesome, everything our opponent has in play is a shiftable character. <laughs> You'll love to see it. <laughs> it's possible I should have bare necessities there for a shift into a whole new world. Right, because either one of these can shift now into a whole new world. And our deck is very susceptible to a whole new world on turn three. Because of the inking, uninkable situation that our deck is in. 23 uninkables? <laughs> I'm gonna take care of the Grandma Tala? I honestly don't mind. Mm, they got, they're thinking about something. Are they thinking about delaying a turn for a whole new world? There's the Shift Queen. Whole new world time. I don't know if they had it or not. We're gonna find out. Let's get a Pluto down. Let's hit him with the bare necessities. Oh, it's just all removal. Okay, well Pluto's dead. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, if that's the case, we're gonna get rid of Let the Storm Rage on because it's card draw. It's also one of the cheaper ones. I think at this point, Grandma Tall is gonna go on a quest. I think it's dead. So, let's make sure we get our ink or our, our, our lore out of it before it becomes ink. So, both removal cards in their hand are big enough to take down a big Pluto. The question is, will they save them? I don't think they will. I think they just take out little Pluto here. That way, they don't have to worry about it. Plus, a big queen takes out Pluto. A big Pluto. Okay, they're not going to worry about it. We are definitely going to play a let it go on the queen here. When we eventually get the, the opportunity. It's a little bit of a ways out. Nice. Opponent's going to let us ramp. Alright, well we're both top decking, but I have a feeling my opponent's deck is going to top deck a little better you know what let's get rid of Pluto downside to this we're gonna bump our opponent up to five so we did put them ahead of us didn't they get to go first though they should have been ahead of us this whole time <laughs> they still have a Zeus in hand Zeus will take out a bell so the question is, do I play a bell just to get it out of their hand? Because we know it's the last card they got. Well, next turn's a lucky dime. We're falling so far behind though. Like this, this is not the sort of material we want in our hand. Opponent whiffed on the song. That's good. I'll take every upside we can get. But we are super dead to this. You know who survives? Stitch. 
He survives a, uh, a big old blast from Zeus. Man, we are so dead. Come on. Hmm. Well, there's two very annoying cards. Wow, that's not good. Um, uh, well, they're all super annoying, but the queen is very annoying. Robin Hood's very annoying. We haven't seen Robin Hood yet. We did see the big queen once. So this, they're less likely to get another one of these than they are this guy. I mean, it's not by a lot, but they are less likely. Now they gain 5, go to 18. Like, they just have to quest here. I don't think there's nothing we can do about it. Because we can't take out the beast. Yeah, they... they, For them, they shouldn't even play cards. They should just quest. Because they just have it in on board. Man, not what you want to see. That is game. Nothing I could do about that. Man, the timing of some of these card draws throughout all these games have been just so awkward. Like, such phenomenal cards, but they just kept coming out of order. And it's just been so awkward. This is one of those decks that I think, you draw it right, you're unstoppable. You draw it wrong, which you do most of the time, you just get your butt kicked. 